Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd ayyullah habita fillah Al-ilm wa fiqh fi deen is an obligation upon us all and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with the ilm al-nafiraz kan tayyibu wa ilm al-mutaqabbilin and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who benefit benefited during this holy month of Ramadan as Ramadan is coming to a close. Alhamdulillah, a couple of questions arose from some of our brothers and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them and bless them with tawfiq and bless us in them with ilm al nafi ruskan tayyibu ilm al mutaqabbilin and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and them of our many sins, ameen ya rabbil alameen and may Allah bless them for their husn al for their positive uh, optimistic view with regards to their brothers because we live in a time when this is too far and few in between who have optimistic and positive views towards their Muslim brothers and sisters. One of the questions that arose was in reference to uh, Laylatul Qadr and what I will advise in regards to this is to do a little research because as Ramadan is ending and I've done a lot of videos in the past especially last year about Laylatul Qadr read from the some of the books of the ulama and some of the statements and fatawa of the ulama so I would say go back and do some research in there and more importantly than that would be to go back to the various translations that are out there with regards to some of the ahkam and some of the rulings pertaining to uh, and, and benefits of Laylatul Qadr uh, as there's many there's a lot of beneficial knowledge as well as things to be aware of and I would just say as general advice go to stick with only the Salafi websites only Salafi websites that are going to give you Kitab Allah wa Sunnatul Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam according to the methodology of the Salaf and that rely on translations especially from the major scholars like the Lejna in Saudi Arabia, the Legend of Daim, and that rely upon especially major scholars like Sheikh Saleh bin Fuzan and some of the ulama that have passed on before us, like uh, Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi and uh, Imam bin Baz and Imam uh, bin Uthaymeen, and Ahl uh, and, and, and those many who I failed to mention. So stick with those, especially as far as translations and many of our other modern contemporary scholars that are living, especially those who are known for their ilm and their fiqh from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Stick with those, but especially those major scholars that I mentioned because then you have, uh, you have grabbed the trustworthy handhold with regards to ilm and fiqh fi deen. And another thing I want to mention as the brother had asked about holding the mushaf during the during Salatul Taraweeh and I easily typed in because I've done a video before and I could not find it where I translated something from Imam uh, Sheikh Saleh bin Huzan and I found it some of our other brothers from Ahlul Sunnah who have translated it I think it was a, a masjid in Cincinnati a, a Salafi masjid Masjid Ahlul Sunnah I don't remember the name but they translated a very nice the same Makta or the same part about this issue and Sheikh Salim bin Fazan just to make it short and I advise you to go to the clip clip directly he said that it's okay during the Taraweeh Taraweeh Salatul Taraweeh that uh, you could read from the Mus'haf La Bas B that it's no problem with this but of course during regular Salat that you should not and this is the gist of what the Imam said but I advise you to go directly to the source and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al-nafir as tayyiba wa amal al and forgive us of our many shortcomings and bless us to make Laylatul Qadr and bless us to have tawfiq and have our sins forgiven and may Allah answer our prayers and help the Muslims everywhere especially those suffering in Gaza and those who are suffering in in Syria and those suffering in uh, Iraq and in Nigeria and the uh, Central African Republic and wherever they're being oppressed and killed and in Burma and in Pakistan and pretty much everywhere 
and may Allah help the Muslim minorities in the West who are having difficulties practicing their religion, especially our brothers and sisters in France. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.